With that down, let's move on to main topic number three, shall we? And our third main topic today gets submitted to us by Alan Rakasha, who writes, hope I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name there, Alan. Uh, Alan writes, there's probably not a lot of your viewers that were alive when Jonestown happened, but I was, and it still stands today as one of the most confounding events in human history to me. Uh, looks like Leonardo DiCaprio is going to play Jim Jones. At first, I thought it was absurd to make a movie about this, but as I but as I considered it more, I came around to thinking it's an important story to tell, especially today. What do you think of DiCaprio as Jim Jones? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Ellen. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is a really, really interesting one. The Jim Jones and the Jonestown situation is still one of the most infamous things. Now, of course, I was like five years old or something like that when the Jonestown stuff happened. So, but I grew up always knowing about it, right? I grew up because it was always something that was first front and center in everybody's minds. It is still, you're right to this day. I like the way you put it. It's one of the most confounding uh, things that have happened. Now, for those of you who don't know, here's the simple little Coles notes on it. Uh, Jim Jones was this cult leader, told his followers that he was God, got them all into this little compound. They shot a few people, and before the law could come get them, he told all of them to drink the Kool-Aid, and I think like over 900 people died. It was a mass suicide event or murder event. I don't know if he told them they would, whatever. He had them all drink this stuff, killed all of them. Killed all of them. And I think, you guys in the live chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's where the phrase drinking the Kool-Aid comes from. I think that's where it comes from. Anyway, this comes from the folks at IndieWire who writes, Leonardo DiCaprio is set to star as a jo Jonestown cult leader Jim Jones in the upcoming feature film biopic Jim Jones, which Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio will also produce. An MGM representative com confirmed the news to IndieWire that DiCaprio is in final negotiations to play the 1970s cult guru who orchestrated the mass suicide that took place on November 18th, 1978. Altogether, a total of 909 people died at the settlement at the nearby airstrip in Port uh, Kiatuma and at the Temple Run building in Georgetown, uh, Guyana capital, Guyana's capital city. It is one of the most horrific, uh, weirdest things I think you can even possibly think of. Because number one, that you'd have a guy so evil that he would want almost a thousand of his own followers dead. But the fact that these people were so blindly loyal to him that they would, as we said, drink the Kool-Aid. I want to read this uh, Read this one little part here. I'll see if I can get the, the text a little bit larger on the screen. Uh, per deadline, uh, Jones founded the People's Temple in Indianapolis in 1955 and promoted it as a fully integrated congregation promoting Christian socialism. But by the 1970s, he openly rejected traditional Christianity and claimed that he himself was God. He constructed Jonestown in uh, Guyana in 1974 and spurred a following to live with him there as he touted a socialist paradise free from U.S. government oppression. Amid rumors of human rights abuses, the U.S. government sent a delegation led by U.S. Representative Leo Ryan in November of 1978. Ryan, along with four other Jonestown's defectors, would eventually be gunned down by Jones's followers. Following the shooting, Jones orchestrated a mass murder-suicide of his followers, uh, which took 918 commune members, 304 of them children, in an act that entailed drinking flavor aid laced with cyanide. It's just, seriously, it's like one of the most horrific things you can conceive of. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And I get what you're saying when you write and you, and you said, at first, you thought maybe it felt a little distasteful to do a movie about it. But I also agree with you on your conclusion that when you think about it a little bit more, especially in today's day and age, stories like this need to be told. And if you're going to tell stories like this, I mean, a guy who just keeps getting better and better and better with his career is Leonardo DiCaprio. He just keeps getting better. Listen, I didn't fall over myself in love with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but oh my God, 
his performance in that, especially in this scene with that little girl, amazing. He's so good. And of course, Brad Pitt won an Academy Award for that movie too. And I don't even love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but I just love their performances. He's fantastic. If somebody, if you're going to do a movie like this about John Jones, John Jones, yeah, yeah, UFC light heavyweight champion, uh, former light heavyweight champion, that's who this movie's about. That's what Jonestown is about. If you're going to do something about Jones and you're going to try to capture this, you need an actor who can do a couple of things. Embody the madness of the man, but also portray him in such a way that would let us as an audience understand why so many people were attracted to him. And that's a tall order. That's not easy. If you're going to try to do a movie like this and you want to do justice to giving people today in a completely different era an understanding of what the hell happened. How could something like this happen? You need an actor, dare I say, of Oscar caliber. You need an actor of Oscar caliber who can portray in a realistic, believable way to the audience the insanity and evil of the man, yet at the same time an understanding about how he presented himself that people around him would be attracted to him and gravitate to him to the point that they would murder and then drink the Kool-Aid. It's, you got to get an actor who can pull off something like that. And Leonardo DiCaprio is one of those actors. I'd say maybe one of out of only 10, 11, 12, 13 actors I could think of who I would trust to play a role like this. And he's that guy. And uh, it's, it's going to be one of those movies that I think is going to be hard to watch. You know, kind of like a Schindler's List. Brilliant, magnificent, one of the all-time great pieces of art put to film, but difficult to watch. Like uh, Detroit with Anthony Mackie and John Boyega. Like a, a real-life event that, that a lot of, of which I wasn't really familiar with. Incredible, beautiful, wonderful piece of art, but difficult to watch. And I think this is going to be one of those projects. And uh, I trust Leonardo DiCaprio to be a part of it. Anyway, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about them, number one, doing a movie about Jonestown, but number two, if they're doing it, the fact that it looks like it's going to be a Leonardo DiCaprio to play it. However you guys are feeling about it, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.